Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubright with Advanced Geometry. Today's lesson is measuring angles and radians. We're going to go over the problems on page 718, numbers 1 through 9 all. So the directions say find the length of the arc associated with the given central angle and radius. So there are two ways that you can do this. One of the ways is the arc length formula. The arc length formula is arc length equals theta times radius. All right, so theta has to be in degrees. So 120 degrees times your radius of 4. Um, so 120 times 4 is 480. So that's in um, degrees, but we need to get into radians. So we need to times pi over 180, reduce, get rid of those zeros, um, what goes into 48 and 18? Six goes into 48 how many times? And six goes into 18 how many times? So 8 pi over 3 is your answer. Another way that you can do this, there's two ways. The other way you can do this is just doing a proportion. So your proportion, you have 120 degrees out of a possible 360 degrees equals what part of the circumference out of the whole circumference? 2 pi r. 2 pi radius is 4. Cross products and solve. You can reduce these first. 12 goes in 12 once, 12 goes in here three times. So you'd have 3 x equals 8 pi divide by 3 and you're at your answer. So which method do you like better? I personally prefer just doing proportions because I always remember I don't have to memorize an extra formula. I always know exactly what to do. What do you guys think? Proportions? Me too. All right, so proportions. 135 out of 360 equals what portion of the circumference out of the whole circumference? 2 pi r. Cross products and solve. So um, can we reduce this first just to make life a little bit easier? Or if you're using a calculator, if this is the calculator section, you don't even need to bother. You can just do the multiplication. So on a calculator section, you would just go like this, equals 135 times 2 times pi times 1.5. Divide by 360 to get x by itself. And you literally would just throw this all into your calculator. So 135 times 2 times 1.5 equals 405 pi out of 360. All right, so to reduce 405 out of 360 on your calculator without having to use your brain, you can do 405 over 360 using that fraction button the t on, the, on the left, the second from the bottom, and then press second, the ABC button. Do second ABC, second ABC, and you're going to get 9 over 8. This reduces to 9 over 8, so it's 9 pi over 8. Does everyone see how to do that on their calculator? All right, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you guys under my document camera. All right, so number three. 240 degrees out of a possible 360 equals what part of the circumference out of the total circumference? 2 pi r. Reduce the zeros. 6 goes in here 4 times. 6 goes in here 6 times. Reduce again. 2 goes in here twice. 2 goes in here 3 times. So 2 thirds. Cross products and solve. 3x equals 2 times 2 times pi times 3. 
2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. 12 pi equals 3x, divide by 3 on both sides, x equals 4 pi. Are we okay? All right. So, convert the degree measure to radian measure. So we're going from degrees into radians. To get out of degrees and into radians, you multiply by pi over 180. To get out of degrees and into radians, you multiply by pi over 180. 5 goes in here 3 times. 5 goes in here 36 times. 3 goes in here once. 3 goes in here 12 times. So you're going to have pi over 12. Or you could always just pick up your calculator. 15 second, or sorry, 15 ABC button, the fraction button on the left, two from the bottom, over 180, second ABC, sec, um, and it gives you 1 over 12. So it reduces that fraction for you. All right, so let's do the next one. 70 degrees out of a possible 360 times, we're getting into radians, pi over 180. 70 over 360, we can definitely cross out that, those zeros. We'd have 7 over 36, right? Why am I doing 7 over 360? Why am I making a, a proportion? And nobody's even telling me not to. All right, so guys, wake up. I need to wake up too, obviously. 70 times pi over 180. I don't know where that 360 came from. My brain is just not functioning at maximum capacity right now, apparently. All right, so once again, get rid of the zeros because um, we can, right? 7 and 18, nothing goes into both of those. So it's just going to be 7 pi over 18. Or once again, you could have thrown that into your calculator, 70 over 180, right, using the fraction button and then second fraction button, and it's going to reduce it to 7 over 18. 7 pi over 18 is our answer. 300 degrees times pi over 180. We're converting into radians. Because we're converting into radians, pi is always on top. All right. So 300 and 180. We can get rid of a zero on both of them. 3 goes in here 10 times. 3 goes in here 6 times. 2 goes in here 5 times. 2 goes in here 3 times. 5 pi over 3 is how you would do it on a non-calculator section. All right, so now, what do I do if I'm going out of radians into degrees? I multiply, I take my 4 pi over 3 out of radians into degrees. Anyone have a guess? Instead of pi over 180, what do I multiply by? 180 over pi. When you do that, the pi's cancel out. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 180, 60 times. 60 times 4, 240 degrees. 11 pi over 12 times, we're getting into degrees. So degrees go on top. Our pi's cancel out. 12, um, half of that is 6, half of 180 is 90, half of that is 3, half of 90 is 45. Doesn't 3 go to 3 once and 3 goes in here 15 times? 15 times 11, 165 degrees. Have I showed you guys the 11's trick? 11 times 21, 2, 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. 11 times 54, 5, 4, 5 plus 4 is 9. 11 times 27, 2, 7, 2 plus 7 is 9. 11 times 29, 
2, 9, 9, 10, 11, uh-oh, carry the 1, 3, 19, 11 times 52, 11 times 58, 5 plus 8, 5 plus 8, 13, carry the 1, 638. So on a non-calculator section, it helps to know how to do your 11s. All right, so our last one, pi over 8 times 180 over pi. Your pi's cancel out. Half of that is 4, half of that is 90, um, 2 and 45. That's it. So 45 over 2 degrees, which would be 22.5 degrees. And that is everything that I wanted to go over with you guys today on um, measuring angles in radians, going into radians from degrees, going from degrees into radians. So remember, if you're turning into radians, it's times pi over 180. If you're turning into degrees, it's times 180 over pi. And um, to find arc lengths, you can always use a proportion, which is the easiest way and the best way to um, always know what to do because you don't have to memorize the extra formula. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a great day. Like and subscribe.